2010 Rondi World Championship, 75th anniversary, $80,000 purse. We're here with Courtney Moore. First day, Friday morning. Courtney, how you doing? Wonderful. <laughs> my dad carries my nerves, so great. You don't seem like the nervous type. And you've run this race how many times? This is my third race. Third time. You're, you're one of two women in the race this year. So um, does that put any added pressure on you, like carrying the no. torch as a female? Not runner? even. I can stomp on them for all I care. Come on, <laughs> You also, you're not just a, a competitor here, you are a Rondi princess. Yes, I am. What does that mean? Do you have other responsibilities? Do you have to wave you as you're going down the trail? Do you have to do that as princess? Um, as much as the, the Rondi pageant and the Rondi race are two different separate things, it, it, it kind of blows my mind how separate they are. Yeah. Um, but I do have those duties also, like I have other kinds of engagements to go through, but they released me from the, the princess duties. with John, who lives there also. Um, you know, it, it's tougher for you guys that there's cost of dog food, cost of, of bringing supplies up there. Things have to be either flown in or snowmobiled or boated up. Um, do, do you think that puts you at a disadvantage or how much of a disadvantage for the other teams that are on the road? It does. Well, like for, for instance, it's a lot of cost. And then for the second thing, we don't have a truck available or a road system, so we can't, if it gets 60 below, we can't put them in a truck and take off the trains around. You don't have plan B for training yet, so, so you have to wait it out. Yeah, we have to wait it out, and our dogs get, you know, slug up the tire, and they lose a little bit of muscle mass. But for the most part, we try to get out earlier, but still that takes a lot of money, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, we're gonna have to edit this out. <laughs> uh, how, how has the weather been there this year? I mean, ha have you had a good year for training, or has it been a bad um, year? It's been off and on, like every two weeks it was cold, and two weeks it'd be really warm, and two weeks it'd be cold. So it was, it was kind of in between, which is not bad because before it was like for three three weeks to a month it was like 40 below. 60 you mean in past years? Yeah. yeah. I mean last year that's what it was. Yeah. This year I saw you raced at Willow, right? Uh -huh. And you raced a couple times in Anchorage? Yeah. Yeah, and do, do you think that helps, getting out and getting among yes. other teams? Yes, well, because I have, I have yearlings and they need that racing experience. I have dogs that are scared of people. Yeah. Like I have two dogs that are like, they're scared of big red coats and they're uh -huh. like, so getting them out there and in this stuff really helps them to loosen up. Have they gotten better in the few times you've raced out They here? have, yeah. I, I, I learned to move them back because they're, they're my backup leaders. Right. And I've, I've learned to move them back and, and they don't seem to bother, it doesn't bother them much. Okay. What's your strategy for today? Are you uh, are you trying to, to really race or are you just trying to get around you know, um, today? Well, if you guys haven't known, I have like one leader, one solid guy. I saw that you went a single leader in Anchorage there. Yeah. Kicked it old school with a single leader. Yeah. Well, Very impressive. He has, last year he got really tired on the last day. Five miles from home he dropped, I had to bag him. So I'm really worried about that and I have one big guy that I'm going out with today and I'm not sure if he'll go around the whole thing but I'm pretty pretty confident in him. Do you have spots along the trail where you think you could bag a dog if you had to? Yeah. 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 I won't bag him because yeah. like 65 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you had to. Yeah. Well, great. Courtney, have a great run today. We'll be rooting for you and we'll try to catch you after the race and see how it went. Thank you. All right. Thanks.